Hey y'all, here we are for another quick tip and I know we've done some other quick tips for selecting text and with so many videos it's getting harder for me to remember which ones I've done and not done and I don't think we've done this one so hopefully not but just in case I have a little extra quick tip in here for you. Right here my text on the screen Pixels is actually a shortened version of the words picture elements. So we have PIX for picture and ELS for e elements and the two together make pixels. I thought it was a neat little tidbit fact when I found that out and so um, all those little dots that make up our photos are all picture elements. And so I want you to note for our quick tip on selecting text that I am actually on the move tool. And all I'm going to do is double click on this T thumbnail in our layer, um, T for text, and immediately my entire text is selected. But not only that, I've been moved to the text tool. Now, I don't use this very often, I guess, because I'm often needing to just change a typo or change um, to make some of my text one color and the uh, other text another color. But if you're needing to select and change all of your text, this is a great little tip because see now I can come up here and you know change it to a different font and you know change the size and change the color and whatever I need to do with it and so that's a really cool tip so now I'm going to show you let's say we're on this eraser tool and I'm going to go over here and just double click and it takes me back to the text tool and highlights it. It does two things at once, multitasking. And I just love how there's always something new to learn in Photoshop in order to make our lives easier. They have all these wonderful little things in here to make things easier for us and just love that. Look forward to seeing you.